okay for a moment yeah, it's like i lost connection but um let me just are you guys are you guys still all with me Yes, good. Okay, there we go. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. So, like I mentioned, we will be doing estimating and measuring length and distance. So, today we will be looking at some key concepts, and then we will review some metric units of length and distance, and then we'll also do some unit version. Okay. So let's look at length. Who can tell me quickly in the chat box? What is length? Can anybody? Never lost the neck before, so it's quite strange. So just be patient with us if while we're figuring this out. Um, I hope everybody can hear me again. We're just trying to to check. Okay, Lionheart says he can barely hear me. How does that sound now, guys? Does it sound better? I've switched over to a different Wi-Fi router just to see maybe, um, because we've got a lot of wind on this side today, so maybe the weather plays a big role. A little better. There we go. Lionheart says a little bit better. Um, okay, Mike, much better. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so like I asked just before we got cut off, length. Who can tell me what is length? Who can who can give me a short description? What's length? Anybody length who can give me some short tips what length is before I tell give you my before I give you my description and we talk a little bit more about that today. Remember, guys, I like uh, to see your input and see that you guys are participating. You guys have always been so great. So let me see length. Anybody. Like I said, maybe it is a bit slow, so I'm going to keep going. So if your answers come through a little bit later, then I will just read it through for you guys. Okay, so length, length is a measured distance between two points, okay? Um, the measurement of something from end to end. Um, and then... Yes, um, when we talk about length or distance, there are a couple of units that we use to, 
to show the length of something or the distance of something. Who can give me some of the, some examples of what units we use to measure length or distance? Does anybody have an idea of some units we use to measure length and distance? Okay, there's Nkosi uh, Pele. She's got the measurement or extent of something to end to end. Very nice. Meters, there we go, Lionheart, very nice. Meters are definitely one of them. Uh, anybody else? What other units do we use for length or distance? Millimeters, there we go. Okay, so you guys have a, an idea. So yes, we use um, kilometers, we use meters, there we go. And we use, yes, we use centimeters. And then we use millimeters. So those are the most common ones that we use here in South Africa. Some other places of the world use a different measuring system. Yes, I see inches, um, but we use the metric system or the metric units over here. So the ones that I mentioned before, those are the ones we see most often. Okay, so here I have a table for you guys to look at. So when we talk about metric units of length and distance, these are the conversion factors of length. Okay, as we can see in the example over here, uh, and I'm sure we know this, 10 millimeters gives us a meter. Okay, and then See, it's very responding very slowly. There we go. And then over here, we've got a thousand millimeters in one meter. 100 centimeters in one meter. And then a thousand meters in one kilometer. Okay. So what is I'm the visual representation? of remember this conversion factors of length. Okay, so how we remember them easily or how can we represent them on our test just to, once you start writing your test, just quickly scribble it on the paper. Okay, so that's a nice way to remember it. Just make your little lines we say, says I'm breaking up a little bit. Lionheart says I'm breaking up a little bit. I'm really sorry about this. I think it's because the, the wind is quite rough here where I am. But um, V where also says she can't hear. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna keep going guys. I hope that you guys can hear me or maybe that you can just follow then on the screen that, um, that I'm showing you guys. And I'm gonna, because I'm not quite sure what's going on today, but like I mentioned in this, the metric units of length and distance So from kilometers, the next one would be the best would be um, meters, the closest one. And then how many meters are there in a kilometer? Who can quickly tell me that? How many meters are there in a kilometer? 1,000, there we go. Thank you, Vicky, yes. So if we wanna go from kilometers to meters, we multiply by 1,000. Okay, then if we want to go smaller than that, 
we go from meter either to millimeters or we go to centimeters. Okay, so let's quickly ask if I want to go from meter to millimeter, how, how many millimeters are there in a meter? Who can tell me? Also, 1,000. Don't worry, guys. Um, no matter if you guys are a little bit late, we had some connection issues as well. So no worries. I'm just glad you guys joined us. And we're just going to review some units of length and distance. Okay, yes, and like Vicky said, we've got a thousand millimeters in a meter, and then we've got a hundred centimeters in a meter. Okay, and then there's one more conversion we can do. We can go from centimeters to millimeters. So who can tell me how many centimeters or how many millimeters are there in a centimeter? How many, how many millimeters are there in a centimeter? Remember, look at, um, remember your rulers? Your ruler has uh, centimeters and millimeters on it. So how many centimeters are there in, uh, or how many millimeters are there in a centimeter? We've got 10, guys, remember? Yeah, there we go. And Cosipile, very nice. We've got 10. So if we can remember this, when, once you start your test, or if you know you're going to have to convert from larger units to smaller ones, or even then convert bigger from small to big, if you can remember this representation, then it should be easy enough. Okay? Um, Vicky says, how did we get 10? Vicky, remember, if you look, take your ruler and you look one centimeter and you count the little millimeter lines in between, you will see that there are only 10, okay? So all our metric units work in factors of 10. Okay, so if we can remember this, then you know what? Any conversion should be easy enough to do. Okay, one thing I wanted to uh, did mention, is the metric units. In South Africa, we use the metric system for measurements. Okay, so we can take this same, same visual representation and we can turn it around and we can do it the other way. Okay, so if we wanted to look at going from the smallest then to the biggest, you draw the exact same thing. In. So millimeter, we can then either write in meters or centimeters, okay? So then we just turn it around. How many millimeters will there be in a meter that we say? How many millimeters are there in a meter? Remember on top, millimeters in one meter. How many, there we go. There will be a thousand millimeters in a meter and 10 millimeters in a centimeter. So now we're not gonna multiply, we are going to divide. Okay, so if we wanna convert from millimeters to meter, we will divide by 1000. And then if we wanna convert from millimeter to centimeter, we will divide by 10. Now, if we carry on, we will go from centimeter to meter. Let's quickly check how many centimeters are there in a meter. There we go, 100. So we will just divide by 100. Very nice, guys. Fiwe, Nkosipile, Vicky, well done. And then we can go back then from meter to kilometer. And then how many meters are there in a kilometer? One thousand. There we go. So, if we can just remember this representation from kilometer to meter, thousand. Now, depending on which way we go, we either multiply or divide. And then, why would we want to convert? Okay. 
as I've put a note here, we often convert between units to make this simpler to work with. Now, just think if we take a trip from Johannesburg to Cape Town, we do not want to work in millimeters because then the numbers will just be enormous. They will be very, very big numbers. And if we just want to measure the length of your pencil, you don't want to be working in kilometers because then there would just be too many zeros in your um, in your equations. And so we convert to just to make things simpler for ourselves. Now, I quickly want to ask you guys, can you guys give me some can you? No, Vicky, you're smart. I know, man. You guys can really do this. And I see how hard you guys try every single day. So you will see. The more we practice, the, the easier it will become. So this one is quite easy. Measuring instruments. What do we use to measure distance or length? Can you guys give me some examples? There we go. Um, a ruler. I've got the first one. Remember, now we're not going to use the units. We're going to use the measuring instrument. What instruments do we use? There we go. A tape measure, a ruler, a measuring tape, Tiro, very nice, tape measure. Anything else? Think of you riding the car or the bicycle. What do you use to measure how far you drive? I'm going to go to the first one on my slide because everybody has mentioned that. <laughs> Vicky says Google Maps. There we go, Vicky. Yes, yes, you can use Google Maps to measure how far you've gone. Okay. Speedometer. Yes. Okay. So the first thing we use that most of us use every single day in class is a rule. And usually, has centimeters and millimeter units on it, okay? Sometimes you get some other ones with inches, but the ones that we here, use here, um, centimeters and millimeters. Ooh, and I just saw a nice one from Megan. Yes, Megan, I'm gonna get you yours right now. Um, but the next one on my list, and I think that's the one that most people mentioned, is a measuring tape. Now, measuring tape usually has centimeters and meters units marked on it. Okay, and then the one that Megan just gave us. Megan gave us, oh, no, sorry, that's not the one Megan gave us. Megan's one is the next one. But then we also have a trundle wheel. Okay. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever seen one before, but the, it's a wheel that you push. And then every time it goes around, it measures one meter. So the length around the wheel or the circumference is one meter. When it is rolled across the floor, it makes a click sound for every full rotation of the wheel. Okay. So normally where I've seen that being used the most is when people measure fields or um, around a farm or something just where you can't, where you have to walk and measure long distances. Okay. And then, yes, the one that Megan mentioned to us, uh, odometer or odometer, uh, measuring instrument used in cars to measure the distance traveled. Okay. And then, just to make it easier for you guys, I put some pictures here so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so here is a ruler. We all know that. So on the one side, we can see here, this one is shows us millimeters over here, but then 10 millimeters will give us the centimeters. And on this side, it will give us inches, but we're not gonna use that right now. Then here's the one that Megan gave us, the odometer or odometer that's in the car. And then it, shows us here how far we have driven in kilometers. And then this one, 
everybody knows, especially boulders, use measuring tapes or people that make clothing. And then here's the one that I mentioned, the trundle wheel, the one that they push around. And then each rotation gives us one meter. Okay, has anybody ever seen, seen one of them? There we go. Okay, now Vicky says, now I see it. Okay. Let's see, they usually ask us, we've got something here from Megan. They usually ask us when we go to the gas station for the distance. There we go. Yes, very nice. If you have to keep it for tax purposes and that they want to write down how far you have driven or from the first time you filled your gas tank to the next time, how much kilometers are on the odometer. Yes. Okay. So now let's quickly look at an example of how we put this into practice. Okay, so Tony would like to see whether a single bed and a desk would fit into his room. The bed is 1.1 meters wide and the desk is 980 millimeters wide. Okay, so now already we see that the in this question, they've used two different, two different units of length and distance. Okay, so, and I'm just gonna put this down here again, a reminder that you guys always have to remember is when calculating with length and distance, it's important to convert both measurements to the same unit before attempting the calculation. And then, like I mentioned before, convert, convert both measurements to the smallest unit. So what is the smallest unit we are using over here? There we go, Megan said millimeters. There we go. So the smallest, the smallest unit is millimeters. There we go, Tiro, very nice. So we've got 1.1 meter and we've got 980 millimeters. So who can convert 1.1 meter for me to millimeters? Remember what we have to do? We have to times it by Remember Vicky, that is centimeters and millimeters, but now we're working with meters and millimeters. So yes, we have to times by one thousand we have times by one thousand i want to go back quickly just to maybe if vicky missed it to this if we can remember this then i just want us to have a quick look at quick look at it again is write it out for you on a piece of paper kilometer meter millimeter and then centimeter down there Okay, so on top, if we go from millimeter to meter, it will be a thousand. From meter to kilometer, it will be a thousand. And then millimeter to centimeter, 10, and centimeter to meter, 100. If we write it like this, you can just look at it and then it will help you to use the, con the correct conversion rate. I hope that helps, Vicky. So write it out like that, and um, I'm sure you'd be able to just look at what you're using. So we are using millimeters over here, and we want to convert to meter, so we will use the 1,000. And let's go back to our example. Okay. So... What will their total width be when placed side by side? Okay, so yes, like we mentioned, we've got 1.1 meters and we've got 980 millimeters and we're gonna convert to the smallest unit and the smallest unit will be millimeters. Okay, so the solution at this, and I already saw so many people give me the answer, 
it will be one point one meter times thousand, and that gives one thousand one hundred millimeters. Okay, and we know that the disc is 980 millimeters because that's what they have given us. And we will just count the two together. So side by side, how much will we have side by side if we put the bed and the desk next to each other? If Tony wants to know whether or not it's going to fit into his room. Quickly give you guys a second or two just to answer. What would the width be of both items put together? There we go. I saw Sharon gave me the answer. Megan gave me the answer. Vicky gave me the answer. Vwe, just make sure. I think maybe you just made a bit of a finger error there. But remember, it's then 1,100 plus 980. It gives us 2,080 millimeters. Okay, and then if we, if we wanted to convert back to meter, we will just have to divide by the 1,000 again. And then we will just get 2.08 meters. Okay. There we go. I think... I knew Viewer just made a little mistake there. Thank you, Viewer. Okay, so let's practice quickly. I am going to give you guys some amounts and I want you to convert it for me. Okay, so first one is convert the following into meters. Okay, so here we go. The first one is 50, uh, 500 centimeters. Who can convert that into meters for me? Okay, Megan already gave me an answer. I just want to give a couple of seconds. Viwe, Vicky, there we go. Yes. So if we want to convert into meters, it is going to be divided by 100. Okay, so... 500 centimeters will give me five meters. Okay, yes, there we go. Very nice, Vicky. Okay, next one. Four kilometers. Who can give me the answer for if we convert into meters? Four kilometers into meters. Megan says 40. Remember, we have four kilometers. Now we're going to meters. So kilometers much further than a meter. What do we do? Remember our little visual representation I showed you guys? From meter to kilometer, we have to times by, there we go. We have to times by 1,000. So four kilometers will give us 4,000 meters, okay? So 1,000 meters in every kilometer, okay? Remember guys, the only place where we multiply by 10 is if we go from millimeter to centimeter where we multiply by 100 is if we go from centimeter to meter. But then from millimeter to meter is 1,000. From meter to kilometer, it's also 1,000. Okay, so let's do the last one. I've got 3,750 millimeters. How am I going to write that in meters? 3,750 millimeters. How am I going to write that into meters? There we go, Megan. Megan is first one with an answer. Yes, remember, we just got a divide by 1,000. Great. Vicky, 
key, you only divide it by a hundred. Remember, meter millimeter is a thousand, so three point seven five meters. I can't stress enough, guys. If you just draw that little picture and you write it out, um, then you just use the numbers that you look at, and I'm sure you guys will be able to convert. Let's convert to millimeter. Remember, we're going to divide a thousand, um, not a hundred, because we're going to go from millimeters to meter. A hundred will just be centimeter to meter. Okay. Now I want everybody to convert to millimeters. 630 centimeters. You don't have to apologize, Vicky. This is why we are here practicing and learning so that if there are any confusion, we sort it out. Megan. Remember, Megan, how many millimeters are there in one centimeter? Ten. Okay, so if we go 630 times 10, it is. There we go. Very nice. And it is. Thank you, Megan. 6,300. You guys are great. Okay, let's next one. It is 16 meters. Now, I want you guys to write that in millimeters. 16 meters, write that in millimeters. Beware, 16,000. Megan, 16,000. Yes, guys, 16,000 millimeters. 1,000 millimeters in every meter. And then the last one we quickly want to do is convert the following into kilometers. 7,000 meters. Who's going to convert? Let's see who's going to be first on this one. There we go. Viewe, Megan. We divide by 1,000 and we get 7 kilometers. And then the last one quickly. 23,450 centimeters. Now, this one is going to be a little bit more difficult because you're going to have to divide twice. Megan says 23 kilometers. Divide twice. There we go. Because we are going to divide. First, we're going to make it meter. It's going to be divided by a thousand. And then we're going to make it divide by another hundred, which gives us 0 0.2345 kilometers. Zero point, there we go, Vicky, 0 0.2345 kilometers. Okay, remember because First, we went from kilometer to meter, and then from meter to centimeter. Okay. Let's quickly look at some activities. And we'll... Mr. Smith has just finished building a new house. He measured the distance around his yard and found it to be 120 meters. Fencing material is sold at 86 rand 34 per meter. How much is the fencing material going to cost him? B, we're going to calculate, suppose he has to put a pole after every 1.5 meters, how many poles will he have to buy? And then C, if the fencing poles cost 65 rand each, calculate the total cost of the poles alone. And then D, calculate the total cost of the fencing, uh, of fencing his yard. Okay, so remember this looks like, oh, this sounds difficult, but what do we always do? 
is first we ask ourselves, what do we know? And then we go step by step. So the first thing you know is his yard is 120 meters. Okay. Then we also know over here, the fencing material is 86.34 cents per meter. Luckily, it's the same unit. So we're not going to have to convert anything. Okay. And then here also, they want a pole after every 1.5 meters. Still the same unit. We don't have to worry. And we also know each pole is 65 rand. Now we can look at each question. So fencing material is sold at 86 per meter, 86 rand, 34 cents per meter. How much is the fencing material going to cost him? So who, think, who thinks they can give me the equation? What will we do? How will we calculate how much the fencing material is going to cost him? How much is the fencing material going to cost him? Okay, Megan has given us an answer already. I, I'm not sure what the answer is, but um, let's do this today. So what are we gonna use? We know that the fence is gonna be 120 meters. Okay, there we go. Megan gave us her equation. 120 meters times 86 rand 34 cents per meter. So easy enough. There we go, Megan's answer, 10,360 Rand and 80 cents. Well done, Megan, that was very fast. Okay, so easy enough, per meter, 120 meters, 10,360 Rand, 80 cents. Now, part B, suppose he has to put a pole after every 1.5 meters. How many poles what he have to buy. So how are we going to do this? How are we going to calculate how many poles will be needed? How many poles will we need to put up the fence? Remember, we still have 120 meters. There we go. Divide by 1.5, where we put a pole in the ground, and that gives us 80. He will need 80 poles to put up the fence if he wants to put them every 1.5 meters. Okay. If I'm going too fast, there's something that you guys don't know, remember, say, Sir, can you repeat that or can you explain or where did you get that? I'm more than happy to go through it. Part C of our first activity, it says, if the fencing poles cost 65 each, calculate the total cost of the poles alone. Okay, so in our previous answer in B, we saw over here, now we've got 80 poles. So all we do is we're going to times 80 by 65 rand each. And then Megan is very fast. She must, I don't know if she's gone for, uh, if she knows her, her timetables well, or she's got a calculator handy with, or maybe she's using, but wow, she's very fast. Yes, Megan, 5,200 rand calculator you should have said you should have said my good in my head and everybody would have been impressed um yes and then part d calculate the total cost so we know that the fence cost us 10,360 rand 80 cents and we know the poles cost us 5,200 so the total is 15,560 Rand and 80 cents. That would be the total to put the fence around his yard.
Okay, that one was easy enough, right, guys? Does everybody understand how we did that? Okay, everybody understand. You're the one that's going fast, Megan. Fifteen thousand five hundred and sixty eighty. Beautiful. That is exactly right. Thank you, Nkosi Pile. That is exactly right. <laughs> Megan says she was going slow. Oh wow. Okay. Let's look at the next one. I'm going to read it for you, and then there's a couple of things. This one is a bit more difficult, but that is why I always say to visually look at something will always help us to solve uh, questions. Jenny has started a decorating business and has a contract to provide decor at a wedding reception. Okay, part A is the tables used at the wedding are rectangular with a length of three meters and a width of one meter. Okay, so that's something we know. The fabric she plans to use for the tablecloth costs 82 Rand per meter. Same unit, so we don't have to worry. As is sold in rolls that are 1.4 meters wide. The bride and groom want the tablecloth to hang at least 20 centimeters. Yeah, there's a lot of numbers, but that is why I'm putting little squares around them so we know. But you'll see if we look at it bit by bit, we can figure it out together. The edges of the table. Calculate the cost of the cloth for each table. Part B is if there are 15 tables at the wedding, calculate how much, e how much she is going to spend. Okay, so first of all, that is part A. And we said the thing we know is it is three meters by one meter. Those are the tables. Remember, that's the table size. The cloth she wants costs 82 Rand per meter, and the cloth is sold in a roll, so it can be any length, but the, it is 1.4 meters wide. Okay, so let's look at this. Here is our table, the yellow block. Now, look at the yellow block. That is our table, okay? Wait, I'm just waiting for the yellow block to come up on your side. There we go. That is the size of the table three meters by one meter, okay? But we also read in this that the bride and groom wants the tablecloth to hang 20 centimeters over the edge. So if we look on our little picture that I put in here, all this, 20 centimeters on top, 20 centimeters on the bottom, 20 centimeters on this side, and 20 centimeters on this side. That is what is going to hang over on the table, okay? So we have to remember that we are not just going to need three meters by one meter. We are going to have to add the 20 centimeters on this side, the 20 centimeters on this side, and then on 20 centimeters on the left and the right. Okay, so what are we going to do? The first thing that we can see is if we take the one meter on this side and we plus the 20 centimeters and the 20 centimeters, how wide is it going to be? How wide is it going to be? The width is going to be Remember, it's 20, 20 centimeters on the top and 20 centimeters on the bottom. So how wide is it going to be? That is why I put the picture here so we can look at it. It's going to be 20 centimeters on the top 
10 to 20 centimeters on the bottom. It's going to be 1.4. Megan says she's lost. Let's look at the picture again, guys. Look at the yellow block. That's the size of the table, right? Three meters, we can see it over here, and one meter. That's the size of the table. Now, they want 20 centimeters on each side to hang over the table. So that means on this side, we've got 20 centimeters. And on this side, let me change just to a highlighter. Pointer, highlighter, okay. Here we see on this side, I'm making it yellow now. I hope everybody can see it. We've got 20 centimeters on this side and we've got 20 centimeters on this side. Okay, so if we take the one meter plus the 20 centimeters on the left plus the 20 centimeters on the right, that is us 40 centimeters. So it will be 1.4, okay? Also, if we think at the width, or that is the width, now the length, the length doesn't matter because it is, there we go, Megan, it's going to be 1.4. Now, the roll that we can buy the cloth in can be cut in any length. Now, lucky for us, okay, I'm going to go back here and see if I can clear this just so that we can go through this one because it seems like we've lost a couple of couple of people. Let's quickly see if I can move this because I just want to take away all the things I've already written. Eraser. Let me take away all this and we will start again. Okay, now we, it's clear. Okay, remember our table? That's our table size. Okay, does everybody agree? Look at the yellow block, that's our table. Three meters by one meter. Okay, does everybody, everybody agree on that one? Three meters by one meter, that is our table. Here we go, and there we go. Three meters by one meter. Okay, now if we look down here on our question on the side that I underlined, it says the tablecloth needs to hang at least 20 centimeters over the edges. So that means on, if the yellow block is the table, there needs to be 20 centimeters extra on this side to hang down and 20 centimeters on this side to hang down. Okay, but the same with the table on top there needs to be 20 centimeters over here and 20 centimeters over here that needs to hang down. Okay, does everybody still understand that? Okay, so we know now that it's one meter plus the 20 centimeters plus the 20 centimeters. So it gives us 1.4. 1.4, so it is the exact width of what we need. So that is not gonna come into play. The only thing that's gonna come into play is the three meters plus the 20, 20 centimeters on this side and the 20 centimeters on this side, okay? So we need 3.4 meters of tablecloth to, that is what we're gonna need for each table. So we will just multiply 82 times 3.4. That gives us, like Sharon just said, 280 Rand 50. Okay, but I see we already having, uh, we don't have actually have gone, our time is up, but I just quickly want to finish this one and then we can look at this a little further tomorrow because tomorrow we will also just look at, I think we will look at volume tomorrow, but we can spend some more time on this. Now, part B of this question, if there are 19 tables, calculate how much she's going to spend on a tablecloth alone. So we will just take 
the price she gets per tablecloth, which is 280 at rand 50, and we will times that by 19 rand, uh, 19 tables. And that will give us a total of 5,329. Okay, but I know that this was a little bit more difficult, but we will look at it tomorrow. I wanna to thank you guys for coming and trying. That is what I always say, that's the most important part, try because that is how we learn. I'm going to give you guys a little homework to look at. This will be similar to what we did today. Um, see if you can figure it out, um, and then we will talk about it tomorrow. Okay, so take a screenshot or take a picture of it. I will also upload. So this will be your homework, and remember you guys can always send it to me to mgeldenlays.com. 81 at gmail.com. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. And then here, yeah, tomorrow we'll be looking at mass or weight. Okay. And then these are our helpful links, siavula or education.gov.za. And then you can guys can follow us on social media, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and then um, share with your friends, ask them to join us. We are here for you guys. And if you have anything, remember, you guys can ask and I will do my best to help you guys out. Okay. Thank you, guys. There's the homework again. I hope you have a lovely afternoon and then I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys.